How's it going, everybody? Just wanted to check back in with you guys here on The Rev. I got some pretty interesting stuff that I wanna share with you guys and just some things that I thought about over, uh, let me see, Transformations were last Tuesday and during Transformations, I usually write my own curriculum and I had a question on there that said, what is Easter to you? What does Easter mean to you? And why is it that everybody comes to uh, church on Easter weekend during Resurrection uh, weekend? And, and we got a lot of the typical answers, you know, because it's, uh, it's the one day that um, it's really easy to ask family and friends. And they usually say yes, you know, how they feel like out of obligation that they need to go. We call them creasters, um, which I've just learned not too long ago, but it's uh, people that come to church on Easter and Christmas. But this is the biggest one that they come to, Easter on Resurrection Sunday, when the Lord has risen. And I asked to ask myself these questions, and I asked why is it that uh, there's so many people that come to church on, on, on Easter weekend? And you know what, I was one of those people. I was that guy. I was somebody who uh, I didn't even know it until last week. I remember I got a revelation that one of my snowmobile buddies called me up on a Sunday morning and said, hey, you want to, let's go. I thought, he said, you want to go to church? And I was like, what? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you kidding me? Like, really? And instead of usually going riding, we went to church that Sunday on Easter. And that church just happened to be King's Chapel, Wasilla. A friend of mine, one of my riding buddies, lived right across the street from there and felt like that we needed to go to church instead of going riding, which we did. And I did that and I showed up and after service was done, that was it. I never went back. I took a long, a lot more time off and I never thought about going back to church after that. It was just the one thing that I filled in, in my obligation to my friend asking me to come to church and I went to church. But what happened during this next part of the question that I asked in Transformations really struck something with me as everybody gave the typical answers of why people come to uh, Easter service resurrection service for me it was something that i really really felt like god gave me a revelation on this but what if the reason why everybody comes to easter sunday church service is because god placed that in us, He put it in our hearts that this is a day that God has sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins, to be resurrected so that we can go from being dead, still alive, but walking zombies dead to alive, to knowing something that that's something that's far greater than what we can accomplish ourselves. But as I thought about that and I said, what if it is? that people come to Easter Sunday because God put that in us. There's 7 billion people in the world, but what if it is that God put that in our hearts? We're all human, we're all created by God. God can do whatever he wants, but what if he put that little interest and spark in our hearts? Not because our friends and family ask us, not because people invite us, but because it's in us, because God placed that in us. And when I, when, when I started talking about that, I got so excited. I got so excited because, you know what? It's, it's Christ that lives in me. And even before I accepted Christ and got saved, he was giving us nudges and guiding us and directing us into a place to come to see what he's all about, to learn more about him. To not just be creasters, but to be something more. So when I heard that, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Although, yes, it is a good time to invite people. But oftentimes people, I believe, have it in their heart. And they're ready for a change. And they're ready for something more. And this is part of the reason why God sent his only son to the cross to die for our sins. Resurrection Sunday so that there would be a day that we can all come together. 
that we can all feast and that we can all um, just uh, learn more about him. But hey, man, I'm just telling you, I had no idea what Palm Sunday was. I had no idea what all the leading up to Resurrection Sunday was. I didn't know any of that until I started to get into my word and hang out with people that do. Good Friday, I, I, there was only one Good Friday for me, and that wasn't going to church. And, um, and so now I'm so thankful to, to learn more about what Good Friday is. So as we go throughout our day, as we go and learn, and as we walk into Resurrection Sunday, I just want to encourage you guys that you have it in you, that that thing that you're feeling in your heart, that pull, that, that whatever is going on, that's from God. That's from God calling you home. That's from God calling you back into his arms so that he can show you his unfailing love. God wants to pour out his peace over you. He wants to pour out his spirit upon you. And, I, and I'm just going to end with this. I'm going to just pray for you guys and encourage you guys as, as we go into Resurrection Sunday one more day. I pray that God would stir something up in you that, that it would just be that, that it would be known that this is God. This is not human. This is God speaking directly to you. Even right where you're at, God is speaking to you. So, Father God, I pray that you would seal this word, Father. I pray for each and every person that is listening to this, Father. I pray that you would just continue to guide and direct their path. I pray that you would bring them into a church, Father, into a home, into your house, Father, where, where there are other people where they can learn more about you, Father. I pray, Lord Jesus, as salvations come to the next level here in the next 24 hours, Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would touch people in a mighty way, that they would just feel something more than just coming to service for one night. Father, I pray that you just continue to press into them, Father, as you lift them up. I pray for a guidance and a direction that can only come from you you, oh Lord. Father, I pray as they wake up, as they put on their Easter outfits, as they go into service, Father, I pray that you would soften up their hearts, oh Lord. Soften up their hearts to receive what you have for them. And I pray for all of the leaders and all of the pastors that are going to be navigating all of this. I pray that you would just continue to give them the words, fill them with the Holy Spirit from the from the from the bottom of their feet to the to the top of their head, Father. I pray for all of this to be encouraged, and I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just continue to lift your people up, and I pray all of this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Well, guys, you guys have a great day. I'm praying for you guys, and uh, we hope to see you guys in service, and we just thank you for everything in Jesus' name. Amen.